and, and I want to touch on that, what that damn devil said, right? The Lord don't give a damn what country of, of Europe that you come from. Right. The Lord don't give a damn if your people come from Ireland, if you come from damn Sweden, right? If you come from damn Armenia, right? If you British, right? He don't give a damn where you come from. You still the same people. And you still have the same judgment according to the Bible, right? You still you still have the same judgment according to the Bible, right? So let me get um let me get Isaiah thirty four and verse five. Let me get the book of Isaiah chapter thirty four verse five. Madness out here, man. Thirty four verse five. And let me ask you a question: How you feel about that poster? You said, huh? Precise, what does that mean? You say what? Who? Okay, our history. What you mean, our history? I guess like the elites that. What's your ethnicity? You say you, you what? Mm -hmm. You're Native American and, and Latin, what? Latin, Mexican? Okay, who's Native American and who's uh, Mexican? Your dad's Mexican? It's a call. Oh, hold on. Is, is your dad Mexican of indigenous descent? Like, do he come from the Aztecs or he come from the Spaniards? Aztec, okay, all presents. Hey, get your brother in, all presents. Hey, the spirit brought this brother over here to get the word. So, according to the Bible, right, your true nationality would be on this sign. So you, you said your father Mexican? So look on the sign and show me where you see Mexican at. It's at the bottom. You see that to the right. So where's that line up at? That's crazy because my name's Isaac. Okay. So you see your name what? What's your name? Isaac? Okay. All right, praise. So according to the Bible, your true nationality, you would be an Israelite from the tribe of Issachar. If your father descend from the Aztec, that would be your true nationality according to the Bible. Because who put the title on our people as uh, Mexicans and Native Americans? Who called us that? Who, who gave us the title as uh, Mexicans and Native Americans? The people who created English? Okay. And what people is that? Yeah, go ahead and say it. White people, right? Hey, get this brother in. All right, please. Right? So... What should we believe? Should we believe what the white man told us or what God told us? What God told us, that's right. That's right. So God didn't ever call us Mexican. That's a new term. That you know, before the 1800s, that country wasn't even called Mexico. You know that, right? What was the name of that country before the 1800s? It was called New Spain, right? So before the 1800s, that country wasn't even called Mexico, right? So why are we calling ourselves Mexicans? And even Native American, right? Because the, the Native Americans, they were indigenous to this land before it was called America, right? So how could they be Native Americans? Where does that name America come from? You said, huh? White people, what white people? It, it comes from an actual man named Amerigo Vespucci. He was an Italian map maker. Right. Right? Yeah, Columbus, during the time of Columbus, right? That's where America come from. Amerigo Vespucci, right? So we're going to prove to you how we know that we are the Israelites according to the Bible. The so-called Blacks and Spanish and Native Americans. You believe in the Bible, right? You said, huh? To a certain degree. To a certain degree. Okay, so what, what, what's in the Bible that you don't agree with? Certain things like, as far as what? Like, just give me an example. Some of the commandments. Some of the commandments? Okay, what commandments? Okay. So, so what 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 you mean by that? Mm -hmm. But that's for everybody to keep. Uh-huh. Right, but, but I'm saying, what, 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 what's the issue of the, of the commandments? So it's nothing wrong with not committing adultery, right? 
Should we commit adultery? Should we steal and kill each other? No, right? So what's, what's wrong with that? Right? So... You feel lost? Hey, that's good. Hey, let me get um, let me get uh Matthew fifteen twenty four. Hey, that's good. Hey, we out here for you then. Hey, that's the spirit. The look, the brother said he feel like he lost. I see we out, here, we out here for you. Let me get Matthew fifteen twenty four. Hey, that's the spirit. Hey, that's the spirit. Bring that out. It's the book of St. Matthew, chapter 15, verse 24. Bring it out. But he answered and said. So this is in red letters. So in the Bible, whenever you see red letters, who is that speaking? Who is that speaking? Uh, Jesus Christ. Well, who you, who you call Jesus Christ, right? So let's see what Jesus Christ said. Read it. But he answered and said. Christ answered and said. Read. I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep. Unto the what? Unto the lost sheep. Sheep. You just said that you feel like you lost, right? So the Lord said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep, read, of the house of Israel. The who? Of the house of Israel. Well, you call Jesus Christ said, I'm only sent unto my people, the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So, brother, we are here for you. So you said you lost. We are here to bring you back into the fold, right? So let me get um Deuteronomy uh, 29 uh, and verse 1. And you give me Deuteronomy 28, verse 15. Mm. It's hard to be good. That's right. A lot of us used to live like that, right? But we're going to show you that it's not hard. It's actually easy. I see right? yes. We're going to show you that. So bring that out. Let's show you this real quick. It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 29, and verse 1. Saca la palabra. These are the words of the covenant which the Lord commanded Moses to make with the children of Israel. So God told Moses to make a covenant with the children of Israel, read, yeah. in the land of Moab, beside the covenant which he made with them. All right, that's it on that. So let me get Deuteronomy 28 and verse 15. So we gonna prove to you how we know that we are the Israelites according to the Bible, read. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. The Lord said, if we don't listen and obey the things that's in this uh, law, read. To observe, to do all his commandments. To do what? To do all his commandments. As the children of Israel, we're commanded to keep all of God's laws. Read. Then I command thee this day. That all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Let me ask you a question. Is a curse a good thing or a bad thing? It's a bad thing. So God said if we don't keep his commandments, all these curses are going to come upon our people. Right? Uh -huh. You said, huh? A man wrote the Bible? Okay, a man wrote every single book that's on the planet. Uh-huh. Okay. Believe what? Believe what the Bible says? What you mean? It's about what? About faith? Question what? The Bible? Okay, well listen, we gonna show you. You're not you're not gonna question the Bible after we show you this. Cause we gonna show you because you said that this was uh, written by man, right? But every single book on the planet was written by man, was it? Am I correct? So when you go to school, you you in college, or you've been in college? So when you were in college, do you believe all the things they told you in history class and math class? Right? Do you believe some of the things they told you? Right, but that was written in a book, right? So how we believe the things that we go to school for but we can't believe in the Bible? So what I'm trying to show you is every book on the planet was written by man. But the difference is between this book and every other book is that this book has prophecies in it. Do you know what a prophecy is? What is a prophecy?
You know what I'm saying? Like, what is a, what is a prophecy? A, a prophecy is something that was foretold that came to pass. So, like, if I tell you, like, look, next week this gonna happen, and then whatever I tell you gonna happen, it actually happens, that's called a prophecy. So the Bible is the only book on the planet that has prophecies. So it tells you things that's gonna happen on the earth that actually happen, right? So let me show you this real quick. Uh, get that first curse. Stay in that Deuteronomy 28. Curse shalt thou be in the city. The Lord said one of the curses that will happen to the Israelites, this is one of the prophecies. The Lord said the Israelites will be cursed in the cities. Do you know what that means? So you said you're Mexican, right? How does the so-called Mexican live in the inner cities of the uh, of America? Or in any country? When you go to Mexico, are the Mexicans living at a, a, in a good position or a bad position? You said, huh? Not so good, right? That's right. And that's not right. just Mexico, that's anywhere. So right here in North Carolina, you got the so-called Mexicans, they living in the ghettos, right? They living at a lower state, right? It don't matter where you go to, New York, LA, Texas, right? Anywhere our people are, we gonna be known for being cursed in the city. Can every nation of people say they go through that? Are the Arabs living in the same conditions we living in? Is the uh, Chinese living in the same conditions we living in? No, they don't go through the same things we go through, right? They ain't been oppressed like our people, right? See, ain't you trying to build a, 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 a wall at the border to keep the Mexicans out? And that's, ain't they doing that? But hold on, didn't this land belong to y'all people first? So why are they trying to keep you out of your own land? Right. See that? Are they doing that to everybody else? Are they building a wall to keep all the uh, the Arabs and the Chinese and the Japanese from coming to America? See, Chuck. No. So you see that? The Lord said that would happen to our people, right? So that's a prophecy. Keep reading. Curse shall be, uh, curse shall thou be in the field. So he said, not only would we be cursed in the cities, but we would be cursed in the fields, right? Who, what nation of people was cursed in the fields during slavery, right? Who was picking cotton, sugar cane, tobacco, right? Who was in, uh, gold mining for the spades, right? Who was doing that? Was everybody doing that? No, that was all people that was doing that, right? During slavery, the so-called black people was in the fields picking cotton, right? And during slavery, the so-called Mexicans, they had y'all uh, picking uh, tobacco, sugar cane, right? They had y'all looking for gold, right? You know about Christopher Columbus, right? What happened to the uh, indigenous people when Christopher Columbus came to this land? What did he do? Right, he murdered y'all, right? He stole from y'all, right? He robbed y'all, he took all y'all gold, your diamonds, right? So that's talking about our people, right? Let me get um, that was it on that. Let me get verse uh, let me get verse fifty uh. Matter of fact, let me get verse uh forty six. Verse forty six, and they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder and upon thy seed forever. The Lord said to identify His chosen people, we gonna be the only race of people on the planet Earth that fit the curses in the Bible, right? Because you know about the Jewish people, right? So these people claim that they God's chosen people. These people claim that they the real Jews and that they the real Israelites in the Bible. But they don't fit none of the curses that's in the Bible that we read reading right now. When were the Jewish people or the Israelis, when were they ever in the fields, been cursing the fields? Right? When were they ever cursing the city? Don't they own everything? They own all the banks. Right? They own Disney, they own all the, the multi-billion dollar corporations, they own all that, right? Right. Right. Uh-huh. Right. Right, right. right. Can't say anything about them. Yeah. Right. So you see what happened to Kanye West, right? Yeah. right. When he was uh, Nick Cannon, Ky uh, Kyrie Irving. Every time they say something about it, what happened to him? Right. They deals get canceled. TV shows get canceled. Right. That's right. Right. They have power, but wait. In the Bible, the Lord said the real Jews they was gonna be cursed. So are these people cursed? Is the Jewish man cursed, or is he living lavish? 
And then he rich and he the richest people upon the face of the earth. Right. So this can't be talking about him. What's that? What? You said what? Right. Uh huh. Right. And they do that to everybody, right? If you wanna, if you wanna be, if, for our people, a so-called black or Hispanic, Native American, if you wanna be rich in America, you gonna have to sell your soul. You want that basketball contract? That's what you gonna have to do. You gonna have to get on your knees. You gonna have to bend your back over, right? If you wanna be a, a, a rich and famous rapper, you gonna have to do the same thing. Right? But who, what group of people own these things though? What group of people own the NBA? Own all these record labels? The so-called Jewish people, right? But the Lord said the real Jews, they would be cursed. They would be living in the ghettos, the projects. Right? They would be game bangers, selling drugs to each other. Right? So that can't be talking about them. That's talking about us. That's what we're trying to show you. These are prophecies in the Bible that the Lord said will happen to his chosen people. So if that's happening to our people, that has to be talking about us, right? So keep reading. Come on. Because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness and with gladness of heart for the abundance of all things. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemy. Shalt thou do what? Shall serve thine enemy. For the Lord said that the real Jews and the real Israelites they would have to serve their enemies for breaking his commandments, right? So read. Which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger. And what? In hunger. And what? In hunger. In hunger. So whenever we hungry as a people, where do we have to go? If I'm hungry, I got to go where? To the grocery store, right? To McDonald's, right? Burger King, right? So do our people own those businesses? Do blacks and Hispanics, do we own Burger King, McDonald's? Do we own Walmart? No, so who own that stuff? The so-called white man, the Jewish people, right? So that's not talking about them. They don't have to serve their enemies. They're the ones that own these uh, businesses. But we the ones that gotta go to them and we have to buy food from them. That's a curse that's in the Bible. Read. In uh, in hunger and in thirst and in nakedness, and in want of all things. In want of all things. So anything that we need as a people, if you want food, if you want water, if you want clothes, the clothes you got on your back, we have to go to our enemies to get that stuff, right? Because we don't own, look, even the clothes that we wear, right? Do we own Nike? Do we own Jordan, Gucci, Louis Vuitton? We don't own that stuff, right? So the Lord said that we would have to go to our enemies to get everything that we need to survive because we broke his commandments, right? So read on. And in nakedness and in want of all things, right? and he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. This is another prophecy. The Lord said this enemy was gonna put a yoke of iron upon our neck. What nation of people had yokes of iron upon their neck in slavery, right? Then so-called black people had iron on their neck, chains on their neck during slavery, right? Then the, uh, the Aztecs, when the Spanish conquistadors came, then they put uh, chains on y'all neck and put y'all in slavery. That happened to our people, right? So the Bible's talking about our people. Read. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he hath destroyed thee. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far. So the Lord told us he was gonna bring a nation against us from far, read. From far, from the end of the earth as swift as the eagle fly as what as swift as the eagle fly so let me ask you a question when the Spaniards came over here and they conquered the Aztecs and the Mayans the Tainos what bird did they have on a uh, flag the eagle so that's another prophecy read that part again you see that you see how it's starting to uh, make sense and how it's starting to come together right read that starting from the top the Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far. From far, because they came from Spain. They came from Portugal. And then they came all the way to this land. And then they conquered our people, right? Read. From the end of the earth. 
as swift as the eagle flying. So that's that's how you know who that's talking about. Because the Spaniards, they had the eagle on their flag, right? All the European nations, their main uh, uh, symbol is the eagle. Right? When you look at Russia, Sweden, right? When you look at the ancient uh, Greeks and the Romans, they had the eagle as their symbol. Even America, what is it on the American uh, uh, symbol? The eagle. So that goes to show you that's talking about the European nations that conquered our people. So read on. A nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand. It said a nation whose language thou shalt not understand. That's what it means when it says tongue that goes into another language. Because let me ask you a question. Before y'all was conquered, by the Spaniards, did y'all speak? Let me ask you a question. Hold on, so before you, before y'all was conquered by the Spaniards, did y'all speak Spanish? No. So that was a language that was forced on us, right? Even my people, I didn't originally speak English, right? I speak English now because my people were conquered by the English. Right? I was conquered by the English, the Dutch, right? The French, right? The Haitians, they speak French, right? Why do they speak French, right? Why do the, the Brazilians speak Portuguese? Because we were conquered by these nations, right? So we don't. Jump to verse uh, 68. We're going to give him this last one. Verse 68. Check this one out. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again Woo! with ships. So the Lord told the Israelites, this is another prophecy. He said he was going to bring us into slavery again on ships. So let me ask you a question. What groups of people upon the face of the earth, when you look at world history, what groups of people went into slavery on slave ships? And what's your answer? Come on, brother. So-called black, who else? You said who? And the natives, right? So if that happened to our people, and God said, this was prophesied, look, this was written over three, 4,000 years ago. So the Lord said, that for breaking his commandments, we would go into slavery on slave ships. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's the King James Bible. The same Bible, look. It blew my mind when I right. heard it. So this is the same Bible they got in the church. But you know what the difference is? When you go to church, they don't actually go into the scriptures and break it down for you. Right? That's how you know they ain't telling you the truth. Right. Right, right. Right. So, did you ever grow up in church as a, a child? Did you ever go to church? Yeah, but then it messed me up because I'm like, there's a bad thing. Right, that's right. Right. So, what what religion what religion did you grow up in? A Catholic or Christian? Christian. So, when you go to Christian church, did they ever bring out these scriptures to you? That's how you know. They, 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 they right. only doing that for money. Right, they they get paid to not teach you the Bible to deceive you. And I would explain to them like I can tell the highest whether like Right. Right. You see that? Because in the church they just want to get that money. Right. You know the pastor he be passing around a plate, he just trying to get that money. He don't want you to actually learn the truth. But we get we come out here to teach our people the truth. We don't get paid to come out here. Right. We could have been doing anything tonight. You see that? Because remember the Lord said we have to, we, we can't be of this world. We in this world, but we not of this world. You know what that means? We in this world, but we not of this world. That means Let's go, Jesus. Every, every, everything that everybody else doing, we not doing what they doing. Go, Look around, what everybody else out here doing tonight? They out here getting drunk, they getting high, they fornicating, they committing adultery. We out here preaching the words of the Lord. I see we out here sincerely for our people. Because when our people wake up and our people repent and come back to these commandments, that's when we gonna get our true power back. I see it. That's when we gonna come back and rule this world like we supposed to, right? Cause we, you tired of our people being at the bottom, right? Ain't you tired of our people being at the bottom, being oppressed, right? We sick of that too. But the Lord said the only way that we gonna come out of this oppression is we repent and do the things that He tell us to do, right? So that was it on. Uh, that was it on that. Yeah, no, nah, that was it. So let me get Deuteronomy ten and twelve. Let me get Deuteronomy 10 and 12, right? So let's show you something real quick. Let me get Deuteronomy 10 and 12, right? So knowing that information, going over those curses in the Bible, right? 
who would that make you? If all those countries fit our people as so-called blacks and Hispanics and Native Americans, who would that make us according to the Bible? That would make us the what? If God said that would happen to the Israelites and that happened to our people, who would that make us? You know what I'm saying? Those curses, God said those curses would happen to the Israelites. And those curses only happen to our people. So if that if God said that would happen to the Israelites and that happened to our people, who would that make us according to the Bible? That would make us the what? Get his, get his brother here. All praise the Lord. That's right. So it's plain and simple. That would make us the Israelites. That's the people that God's speaking to. Right? God is talking to our people. This is for our people. Right? So we're not Mexican. We're not Native Americans. We're not black. We're not Dominican. We're not Puerto Rican. Right. We are the Israelites according to the Bible. That's right. From the 12 tribes, right? That's right. So you said your father is Mexican, so you would come from what tribe? You would be an Israelite from the tribe of what? It's a cult, right? That's All right. right. See that? That's your two, that's your two identity. God didn't never call nobody a Mexican. God never called nobody a Native American, right? So you would be an Israelite from the tribe of Issachar. So you can't never forget that. So bring that out, Deuteronomy 10 and 12. Let's show you this real quick. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 10 and verse 12. Bring it Let's out. This real quick, brother. Listen to this. And now Israel. Now what? And now Israel. Nah, you know you're an Israelite. So let's see what God requires of us as a people. Read. What doth the Lord thy God require of thee? Now the Lord requires something from us. Read. But to fear the Lord thy God. From this day forward, brother, we're going to teach you how to fear the Lord your God. Read. To fear the Lord thy God, to walk in all his ways, and to love him. We're going to show you how to love the Lord. Read. And to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul. To keep the commandments of the Lord. To do what? To, to keep, keep the, the commandments, commandments of the Lord. And his statutes, which I command thee this day for thy good. So now... As God's chosen people, as the Israelites, we have to keep God's commandments. Because remember, when we broke God's commandments, what did God do to us? He put what on us? Curses. That's right. Get this brother here. He paying attention. All praise. That's right. So remember, brother, when you came up here, you said that you were lost, right? And remember, Christ said he sent us out here for the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So we bring you back home into the fold, brother, right? So now... The Lord said you have to keep his commandments. So do you know any commandments? I know you was talking about uh the Ten Commandments earlier, right? Thou shalt not commit adultery, steal, kill, right? So we're gonna give you uh, some commandments that you might not know. Alright? So let me get uh what you got. Okay, alright, alright, yeah, we can bring that out. Bring that out. It's the book of Leviticus, chapter eleven. And verse 7. We're not going to give you every single commandment because when you read the Bible, it's over 600 commandments. So we just going to give you a few of them and then you can go home and you can study for yourself and you can learn the rest of them, alright? You got a Bible? You got a Bible at home? It's a, uh, what kind is it? King James? Okay, all praise. So read that. Leviticus chapter 11 verse 7. And the swine. And the what? And the swine. And the what? And the swine. So what animal is the swine? Do you know what a swine is? A who? No, not, not a swine. A swine. 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 S, uh, S W I N E. Swine. So a swine is a pig. Right? So the Lord said the swine, which is the pig, read. Though he divide the hoop and be cloven footed, yet he cheweth not the cud. He is unclean to you. Right, so do you eat pork? Do you eat pig? You don't eat pork? So you don't eat no pork. You don't That's eat good. bacon. You don't eat pepperoni. That's good, brother. Right? Hold on. I'm sorry. You don't eat? You say, huh? Okay, so you don't eat no chorizo. You don't eat that carnitas. You don't eat none of that. You don't eat that El Pastor. <laughs> All right. Hey, give his brother here. All praise the Lord. All praise. You see that? And that's good because a lot of our people, they don't know about that. A lot of our people, they out here, they, they eat. That's right. Because what happens, when you look at us, uh, uh, the statistics. Okay. So when you look at the statistics, what nation of people lead in America in high blood pressure, diabetes? So-called blacks and Spanish, right? Why is that? Because that's a commandment that God gave us. He told us not to do that. So we get sicknesses from uh, breaking God's commandments. Right. Right. So 
So let me ask you a question. So you don't eat pork, but do you uh do you eat seafood? Okay, what seafood do you eat? Sushi. What kind of sushi? Crab. Okay, you eat shrimp? Not that much. You eat lobster? Okay. All right. So let's read about that. This is Leviticus chapter 11 and verse 9. These shall ye eat of all that are in the waters. Whatsoever hath fins and scales have what? Fins and scales. The Lord said if we eat anything that come out the waters, it has to have what? Fins and scales. That's good, right? So let me ask you a question. You say you eat uh, shrimp sometimes. You say you eat crab, right? So does crab and does shrimp, do, that, do those uh, creatures have fins and scales? No, not crab or shrimp. So the only things that have fins and scales is like certain fish, right? No, shark, they got fins, but they don't got scales, right? So the Lord said, if we eat anything that come out the waters, it has to have fins and scales. So guess what that means? A shrimp, they don't got fins and scales. Crab, lobster, octopus, uh, squid, those things don't got fins and scales, right? Those are shellfish. Those crustaceans, right? You know why God created those animals? That's why. Right. Right. His brother here, he knows what's going on. See that? They're like the roaches of the sea, right? The Lord created those animals to be the filtration of the, of the sea, right? So we're not supposed to eat that stuff. Because you said that's like roaches, right? Would you, would you pick up a roach and eat a roach? Would you eat a spider? So we can't be eating shrimp and crab and lobster? Because that's the same thing, but it's just underwater. Right. You see that? So you know what you can eat? Things that got fins and skills. We got fins and skills? Tuna, right? Tuna got fins and skills, you can eat that. Right. right? Salmon, salmon got fins and skills. Red snappy, codfish, uh, what's some other ones? Bass. Bass, you can eat bass, what else? Yeah, I said red snappy. Uh, what's that, whiting? Whiting, you can eat, you can eat all that stuff, right? Tilapia's question. Right? Tilapia's question. Right, but you can't eat, you just can't eat shrimp, lobster, shellfish, Octopus, even catfish. Catfish, they got fins, but they don't got scales, right? So would you stop doing that for the Lord? That's right. So the Lord said, you can't eat no more shrimp, no more crab. Would you stop doing that? Hey, give his brother air. I'll pray this. I'll pray this. Hold on, say that again. Yeah, say that yeah, in my yeah, 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 yeah. Say that in my Yeah, I'm trying to find the correct way. Trying to find the correct way. The correct way on how to live, right? That's good. And hey, get his brother here. He in the spirit. Hey, let me get let me get um Isaiah. Let me get the book of Isaiah. I believe I want um Man, what's that? Um uh, 30 and 20. Let me get Isaiah 30 and 20. That's good. So the brother said he's trying to find a way, the correct way on how to live, right? Okay. That's good. And we're not supposed to do that either. That's right. You, hey, this brother in spirit, you know that, right? Yeah, yeah. Right. Right. That's good. Right, right. I get you. That me hold on. That, that messed a lot of us up. But we had to, we had to repent and we had to change our minds. But I'm gonna bring out, I'm gonna touch on something that you said though. Cause you said, yeah, 30 and 20. Cause you said he trying to find the right way, right? He said he trying to find the right way on how to live, right? Give me that, Isaiah 30 and 20. The book of Isaiah chapter 30 and verse 20. Bring it out. And though the Lord give you the bread of adversity and the water of affliction, yet shall not thy teacher, thy what? Thy teacher, who are we? Thy teacher, Lewis said, not thy teachers, and we are the teachers in these last days. We are the servants and the prophets that the Most High God raised up in these last days to warn the people, read. Yet shall thy teachers not be removed into a corner anymore. We're not hiding in the corners. We're not hiding in the churches like the pastor, right? Like T.D. Jakes, Joel Osteen, Creflo Dollar, right? They, they are here to deceive our people just to make money off them. But we are here to give our people the truth, read. But thine eyes shall see thy teachers. 
your eyes see your teachers tonight. You was all the way across the street and you seen us over here and the spirit of the Lord brought you over here to get this word, read. And thine eyes shall hear a word behind thee. Like you was walking up the street and you heard a word behind you, read. Saying, this is the way. Saying what? This is the way. What is keeping God's commandments? This is the way. You say you trying to find the right, right, the, uh, the right way, right, on how to live. So the Lord said, this is the way, read. Walk ye in it. Do what? Walk, walk ye in, in it. it. So brother, now it's time to walk ye in it. Was that it on that? Uh, we, oh, get the next verse. Yeah. When ye turn to the right hand and when ye turn to the left. This is the way. The way is keeping God's commandments. Because remember, like you said, when we break God's commandments, God put what on our people? Curses. So in order right. to get these curses off of our people, instead of breaking the commandments, we need to start doing what? Keeping them. Keeping I see the yes. Keeping the what? The commandments. All praise. Get his brother in. All praise. All praise. So we have to start keeping the commandments, brother. All right? Uh huh. Uh huh. Like it's like you know, Right. about them, right? Going to the book of Revelation, right? Hold on, hold on, let's just, hold on, I want to get something real quick before you get to that. Because so now, you see, you're trying to find the right, the right uh, way, right? So we just showed you, this is the way, keeping the commandments. So we're going to give you some more commandments, right? Because you said one of the things that you struggle with is dealing with women, right? Okay. You said, you said you want to marry her? Okay. She's not perfect. Right. Okay, so let me ask you. She's Mexican. Okay, all right. All right, so that's good, right? Because you know, another commandment in the Bible is we're not supposed to marry outside of our people. No. All praise. Right. And that's what the Bible say, right? Let me get Toby. Let me get Toby for a twelve. Let me get told before and twelve. So look, if if she not on this side, if she not a part of the children of Israel, you're not supposed to be messing with her. All right. So you can have any woman that's on this chart, right? All right. So any of these tribes you can marry, but if she not on this chart, and hey, you can't deal with it. All right. Okay. Right. So let, let's bring this out. Told before and twelve. It's the book of Tobit, chapter four, verse twelve. Beware of all whoredom, my son. That's because you said you, you have a hard time uh, getting caught up with these women out here, right? So the Lord said, beware of all whoredom. Right? We shouldn't be out here listening at the females. Because that's just a trap, right? Because that's just a trap. Because if you get trapped up and you mess around and get one of these females pregnant and you don't really love her like that and she don't really like you like that, what's going to happen? You're going to have a child and then right, your whole family going to be out of order. Child, can you see that? Right, 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 right. So you ain't trying to get, you ain't, hey, real talk, we're not trying to get involved in all that drama. I ain't trying to be on no child support, I ain't trying to do none of that. Right, so that's why the Lord said we have to, he said beware of all whoredom. Because all you got out here is a whole bunch of whores. Ain't none of these women of uh, marriage material, right? Hey, we ain't even talking to you, I ain't even talking to you, right? So all these whores, are, hey, it's a whole bunch of whores and prostitutes out here. Right. These yeah. women nowadays, they be, on, they be on OnlyFans. I ain't even, hey, get your ass up the block. We ain't even talking to you. Hey, shut your damn mouth. We gonna say whatever we want to say. So like I said, like all these women out here, they be on OnlyFans. Right, you, heard, you know about that, right? They be selling their bodies on OnlyFans. They be out here prostituting. Hey, we ain't trying to get involved in that, right? We supposed to marry our woman according to the Bible. Read that. Finish reading. We're here for y'all. Beware of all whoredom, my son. And chiefly, oh, listen to this part, brother. 
and chiefly yeah. and what chiefly chiefly we take a wife take a what a wife a whore a wife slut a wife said take a wife right read of the seed of thy father or of, of any uh, race of thy father of another race of thy father the lord said we have to take a wife of the a seed of our fathers right so if she don't come from the same race as you you can't be messing with her right and hey, we know you. Am I right we know now? you. You that damn devil. Yeah, we. Hey, you see, <laughs> that damn devil come out here all the time. But now look. So the so-called white woman, we can't deal with her. Right. Because she's not the seed of our fathers. Right. The Chinese woman, we can't deal with her. Right. The Japanese, the Arabs, the East Indians, we can't deal with them. If she's not a so-called black, Hispanic, or Native American, we ain't dealing with her. Straight up. Right. So you can have a woman from any tribe. You can have a so-called Puerto Rican woman, so-called Mexican woman. She can be Colombian. She can be a Dominican, right? Native American. Hey, we got the most beautiful woman upon the face of the earth, right? That's Come, right. Right. right? Hey, name me another woman on the planet that look better than a woman on this chart. You can't do it. You see what I'm saying, dude? Do you think the Japanese woman look better than our woman? You see, you think the, uh, the Chinese woman, do she look better than a Mexican woman? Hell no. Nah, Hell right? no. And the Lord said we supposed to marry a wife of our people. That's right. We ain't supposed to be messing around with all these other nations. So finish reading on that. God. And take not a strange woman. Hold on, what is the so-called white woman? Take not a strange woman. What is the Chinese woman? A strange woman. Is the Japanese? A strange woman. What about the Arab? A strange woman. Lewis said those are strange women. Those are women that are heathens according to the Bible. They're not of our bloodline. Read. Take not a strange woman to wife, which is not of thy father's tribe. Which is what? Which is not of thy father's tribe. You know what's going to happen if we take a, 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 a woman of another nation? You know what's going to happen to us? Right? Let me get uh First Kings. Where you at? Let me get First Kings, chapter eleven. Right, right. So let me let me show you this real quick. First Kings chapter eleven, right? Because I'm gonna show you what happened to one of our forefathers in the Bible when they started to take wives of the other nations. Let me get First Kings chapter eleven. Yeah, eleven and one. The book of First Kings chapter eleven and verse one. But King Solomon, who? But King Solomon. You heard about King Solomon, right? What you know about King Solomon? Not too much, but I heard. All right, so he was he was one of the wisest kings upon the face of the earth, right? Right, he was the richest king, right? But let's see what King Solomon did. Read. But King Solomon loved many strange women. Remember, we just read in the scripture the Lord said, "Don't take no strange woman to wife," right? But it said King Solomon he loved many strange women. Read. Together with the daughter of Pharaoh, the daughter of Pharaoh, which was an Egyptian, read. Woman of the Moabites, the Moabites are the uh, modern day Asians, the Chinese, read. Ammonites, Edomites, and the Edomites is the so called white people, read. Zidonians, and Hittites, Edomite. and Hittites, Edomite. of the nations concerning which the Lord said unto the children of Israel. Ye shall not go into them. Ye shall not do what? Ye shall not go into them. The Lord said, don't mess with them, right? He said, you can't mess with these other nations. Read. Neither shall they come in unto you. For surely they will turn away your heart after their God. After their what? After their God. After their what? After their God. So that's why we can't mess with the women of the other nations. Because they're going to turn you away from serving your God. Right? Cause you mess with a Chinese woman, guess what she gonna have you doing? She gonna have you worshiping Buddha, right? Right, right here. Yeah, she gonna have you, and she gonna have you bowing down to Buddha, right? And you get with a, 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 a East Indian woman, she gonna have you into that Hinduism, right? She gonna have you worshiping uh, Krishna, right? Shiva, right? Right. The Lord said we can't worship idols. Uh, yeah, we got a school out here in Raleigh, and we got a um. We got a platform on YouTube that we teach on every Wednesday night. We got a YouTube channel. If you scan that um, on that Q and R code, it'll take you to our YouTube channel. You said, huh? Okay, yeah. Hey, we got a number on there. We got an email on there. If you want to hit us up, 
You got any questions about the scriptures? And we are here for you. Like I said, we are here for you, brother. All right. So you gotta leave out. All right, brother. All right, brother. Be safe out here. And get his brother in. All right, place. All right, place in the most high. Peace, brother. And be safe out here, bro. All right. All right. Yeah, hit us up. All right, bro. All right, place in the most high. Oh, I forgot. I'm gonna let, I'm gonna let E from hop up in here real quick. You good? What's it? You want to? You want to hop up in? Okay, all praises. All praises. Hey, how y'all? How y'all?